Hello, reformers, and welcome to a special feature of the Trojan War. Now, this mod is in beta right now, but I thought I'd give it a go because one of you actually did send me a message about it, and it seemed pretty interesting, and many of the textures are actually very detailed. Now, before we start, I'd just like to mention a couple of things. One is that my girlfriend, Victoria, is creating her own, well, has created her own series on Warband Native, and is playing a female character. So, if you want to check that out, then you can, of course, click on the annotation on the screen right now, and you can also find the playlist for her series in the description below, as well as all of my playlists and all of my previous special features. For easy access, of course. Yes. Now, otherwise, there is a download link for this particular mod in the description as well, and you can easily find that by scrolling down the page, and you'll see it, and you can just click on it with your mouse or your touchpad or whatever it is, and... It's, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty easy to download. So, otherwise, there is actually a unique, shall we say, feature in this particular mod where you can head into the custom battle. I know that other mods also do that, but this is a little bit more in-depth because one thing you can do is you can, of course, choose your character, but for the main reason, the sacking of Troy is going to be, in my opinion, really cool. So... What we're going to do is we're going to remove all of the cavalry because cavalry, in my opinion, is, uh, I personally find them quite irritating. But especially seeing as this is going to be quite a small map and quite a small amount of men on either side. So we're going to be leaving that. Of course, you can change the game type from siege offense, defense, etc. But I think battle is going to be perfectly fine for now. Now, as you also can see here, we have backgrounds on every single character and there's a couple of characters that you may want to take note of right here. As we can see, we have Achilles, and I'll just scroll through all of these. There's actually way too many of them for me to name every single one, but as you can see, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 different characters. And of course, they all have their own backgrounds, and they are all from history, and ah, it's all uh, it's all marvelous, all absolutely marvelous. So, otherwise, you can of course head into the mod options, which is exactly like Floris, and well, that's in my opinion very cool. I'm actually going to show the battle map right here. We could show the health bars, but I think that destroys the immersion somewhat, so we're just going to leave that. And you can, of course, disable basically everything else. We're going to just charge all when I get taken out, which is no doubt going to happen. So, yeah, probably don't need to worry about that too much. Now, let's see here. Well, we're going to be going for infantry on both of those. And I think in general, skill penalty... Oh, my. Skill penalty from encumbrance? No, I'm going to turn that off. Thank you very much. Ah, well, I don't really mind too much, but yes, that will be absolutely fine. Obviously, for custom battle, it actually makes no difference whatsoever, but... I think it's nice just to take a look at the options and see what's going on. So, otherwise, I guess let's just head in, shall we? The Sacking of Troy will be our map, and we'll head in as Achilles. There we go. Now, lo and behold, we start in a Trojan horse, and also... There are a huge amount of unique animations as well, which I have to say is very, very cool. Where are all of our units? I have actually no idea, but there we go. We took out one already. As you can see, they've got some unique animations, even with the thrusting. You wouldn't think that such a simple animation would be so different, but it actually makes a huge difference to how good the damage is from the spear. And I've got to say that I welcome that greatly, because I am terrible with spears, as we all know, but... It is amazing. Look at that. I'm actually getting kills. I am actually getting kills with a spear. I know, this is not the Twilight Zone, but I am still getting kills with a spear. I cannot believe it. It's absolutely amazing. Now, of course, we do have the opportunity to use a different weapon, but the spear right now is just absolutely amazing. Obviously, missing every so often is not a good idea, but you know what I'm saying. It's pretty good. So, as you can see, we can also switch to his short sword. It's not particularly a short sword. I know it's called something completely different, but... Well, we'll obviously find out once we head into the actual game, but as you see, the custom battle itself is just as immersive as what I can only assume is going to be the main game. But look at it, we even have a Trojan horse, so, yo dog, we put a horse in your horse, and Trojan horse, and various other, yes, various other sayings that I am going to get completely wrong. So, otherwise... We are probably victorious here. I'm thinking we are, yes, probably victorious. Unfortunately, Achilles doesn't seem to be invulnerable apart from obviously being hit 
in the face and the ankle, obviously, yes. Especially my Achilles. So let's see. Ooh, what's actually going on here? There actually appears to be an upstairs, which I think we're going to take a look at. Can I take a look at his stats? No, I can't take a look at his stats. That's unfortunate, but whatever the case, we're going to be heading up these stairs right here. Can't access the inventory right now. I was hoping that I'd be able to just to see what kind of gear he is using right now. But as you see, we also have some improvements to the character models as well as huge, absolutely huge areas which you can fight in of course so that is very cool in my opinion now wait a minute where is this guy i actually have no idea where this guy is but ah well whatever the case this is just a showcase of the particular custom battle feature and i feel as though it is a good one so we can give up the fight there it's nothing really to worry about it is just a custom battle and now we'll start a new game obviously we do have brad pitt on the main screen there so yes the trojan war has begun Queen Helen of Troy and Prince Paris of Troy have taken off together from Sparta and fled to Troy. Now King Agamemnon has decided to summon his forces of all of Greece to help Menelaus, 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 uh, King of Sparta, to besiege the walls of Troy. Will you help defend the great city of Troy or will you help destroy it? The choice is yours. You have the power to rewrite history. You will be able to fight alongside fearsome Greek warriors such as Achilles, Ajax or Ajax and Hector and take part in epic battles of ancient Greece. Now bear in mind I am not anywhere near being a his history buff in any respect and I know many of you are so do excuse some of the pronunciation errors and various other things that I may indeed come across here because, well, I, I'm i not particularly fluent with any of that. So, let us start as an adventurer. You can actually start as a quick character. I'm actually really interested to see this, but we would like to go through the character creation, of course. So, let's start as an adventurer. And, obviously, we do have the amazing Floris mod character creation right here. And the amazing thing about this is that I really love the randomize option. I really think the randomize option is a fantastic addition to the character creation. So we're just going to be pressing this randomly and there we go. We have something rather amazing there. <laughs> it's probably going to give us some absolutely terrible gear, but we're going to do it anyway. So as we see here, we obviously have reworked troops. We're going to be using the reworked troops because apparently don't choose this one is definitely not the way to go. Starting region, we can start anywhere we so desire. I think we'll probably start in Troy or Sparta or maybe in the Myrmidon area. I have no idea. Well, let's start in Troy. Because, well, that is where most of this inspiration has come from, of course, as well as history itself. So, yes, otherwise, let's continue onward. There we go. Allow me to quit without saving. And we are going to be Boris. Capital letters, Boris. Yes, there we go. So, let's take a look here. What are we going to do? Well, we're going to probably try to get as much... Hmm... Yeah, I think we'll probably do that, because we probably want to try and get a huge amount of power throw skill, apparently. Yes, power throw skill. I know, you're all face palming right now, because power throw, I am absolutely amazing with throwing weapons, as we all know. So let's just get some more pathfinding there, and one in prisoner management, just to make sure everything's cool. Then we'll go for some more in throwing skill as well. Boris, the throwing, wait, master, yes, there we go. That's going to help. That's that's actually just given us literally 1,000 more throwing weapon proficiency because naming yourself the throwing master, you have no high expectations at all. So, yeah, let's just continue on. As you can see, we have the Flores character creation, which is excellent. I actually really do appreciate that. And we're going to randomize a little bit and see what we can do. What looks like a Boris to you? What looks like Boris the throwing master to you? I do not know. We're going to be choosing something... Rather fitting, I would say. Oh, yes, here we go. Ooh, okay, well, let's just see here. Maybe I can change this up a little bit. Ooh, my, Boris the Throwing Master, hello there. Okay, so let's just take a look here. Ooh, oh my. Okay, let's do that, why not? You have come through the Trojan Highlands, a plateau exposed to the bitter winds from the north. The land here is frozen for most of the year, but the forests are rich with fur-bearing game, and the rivers are teeming with fish. The riches of the land draw the traders, but the traders in turn draw bandits. You saw the occasional dark figure mounted on a shaggy pony, watching the passage of your caravan from a snowy ridge, and were glad when the spires of Troy came into view. Yes, of course, it is 
still in development. Do bear that in mind. It is still beta, so there are going to be a couple of things that are a little bit rough around the edges, but obviously, as we've seen from the custom battle, it is actually quite remarkable the amount of textures that are already included in the game. So we have a bow, and I didn't spec in bow. I spec'd in power throw, so we're going to have... Some problems, I think. Yes. Some major difficulty. Oh, hello. Oh, no. Okay, this is not good. Come on. Take him out. Take him out. There we go. That's what you get, Boris. The throwing master is victorious. And now we will do a dance and kick him in the face. There we go. Let's do that. Now, I would like to probably not go with this guy because he seems a little bit shady as he only has one bed. Where am I sleeping? Ah, well, let's see now. We've always had brigands in the hills. Oh, oh, of course, of course. Okay, so, yes, let's see what we can do here. Let us exit and be greeted by some Trojan deserters already. Let's try and avoid those guys as quickly as we can. Head on to Talbuk. Of course, many of the villages still have reasonably similar names. And, of course, we are going to make sure that the villages all have amazing amounts of volunteers, too. So, let's head on to various places here. Wow, there's actually a huge amount of looters in the area, which I've got to say, I am very pleased to see, because usually some mods, they either have way too many looters, or way too little looters. So, I've got to say, it's really cool to see that this is uh, quite balanced. It seems quite balanced right now. I probably should have gone for some horse archery. Would have been a good idea, wouldn't it? Yeah, probably. But... I just gotta highlight a couple of things here. The animations, I think, are probably from Floris, but just look at that. Look at that. That's actually really cool. I think that is really, really very nice. And obviously, I just wasted an arrow, but yeah, we are so incredibly accurate that we'll definitely need that one arrow. So, yes, otherwise, we're just gonna be effectively charging these looters. I actually don't know whether I should charge them or not. We seem to have some pretty good units, and maybe I'll be able to get some... Nice damage on these guys. Obviously, it's not really going to happen very easily because no horse archery skill, but... Yeah, I'm just going to get up my sword, I feel. I probably should not start as a thief. Never a good idea to start as a thief, I'd say, considering... Oh, no! Considering you have literally no gear. Oh, no. There we go. Well, Boris the Throwing Master apparently has no throwing weapons to speak of. As you can see, I'm switching through my weapons right now, and there's nothing nothing to speak of so let's see now let's see if I'm actually able to take that guy out yes there we go how dare you come on let's how 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 dare you try and kill my horse yes there we go there we are Lawrence will not go down without a fight Lawrence is my horse's name now so let's see what we can do about taking out the final loot ah never mind okay so the looters have been defeated by the Trojan peasants and of course we are very happy about that there we go. Very nice. One Renown and one Morale, and we actually killed five units, if you can believe it. I can't believe it, so there we go. Now, let's head on, and what are we... Wow, we actually have some terrible gear right now. Okay, so we're going to be taking as much as we can here. Oh, this is very nice. Okay, so we can take all of this. What about some boots? The boots are a little bit better that we have there. Is there anything else? Well, I suppose I will take everything, because we do need the money, of course. There we go. Okay. So, yes, we do have the amount of units that we require to now do the Merchant's Quest, but do we want to do it? That is the thing. Do we want to do it? I don't know. But we're going to just take a look here and see what we are going to be getting. Ooh, yes, they are now becoming rather bare-chested. It's a rather different stance on things from the Trojan Peasant. As you can see, he's completely covered up and he has a wonderful gnome hat. But then... They just completely strip off, and uh, uh, it's basically Magic Mike, isn't it? It's basically Magic Mike now, but yes, we're now going to be heading on back to Troy and speaking to the merchant. Maybe we'll be able to find a ransom broker or a slave trader. Ooh, there's some more looters. I actually really would like to deal some damage to these guys, see what we can do. Ten against nine. Obviously, we are a little bit damaged, but we do have some better units this time, so we should be able to charge everyone in and not have too many difficulties eliminating all of them. Now, I am going to be taking a look at the troop trees, the upgrade trees, in just a second as well once we get out of here, because thankfully enough, the mod does have those, and you are able to see very easily what kind of units you're going to be gaining, and of course, what units level up into what. So, it is going to be fantastic. And also, I did take a look just as a little preliminary view on the troop trees, and you can actually click 
on some of the units and gain an insight as to what kind of gear they're using, what kind of stats they have, and it's just absolutely fantastic. So I'm really looking forward to taking a look at that with you guys because, well, some of those units actually look mighty deadly, and I gotta say that, well, I'd like to be able to get some of those at some point. Maybe we'll be able to do that in this particular special feature. So, yes, I'll try at least to level up as much as we can, but if not, then I will, of course, just enhance our progression artificially, and we'll see what is going on with some of the higher tier units. Even though we can already see the stats in the troop upgrade trees, so maybe it's not even necessary. But there it is, we actually killed four units. Apparently Boris the Throwing Master is just absolutely beastly. I have no idea how he's able to do such a thing, but there he is. He's actually using a Greek sword. Yes, that's what the, that's what the sword's called. It's called Greek Sword. That is historically accurate, of course. No, of course not, but it is still in beta, just bear that in mind. So, let's see, what are we going to do here? Well, we're going to be taking as much of these pieces of loot as we can. We have no inventory management, so that's... Uh, yeah, not incredibly good. We have no pockets whatsoever to carry our swords. We're just going to have to carry them down our throat or something along those lines because Boris the Throwing Master is, of course, a master at the circus as well. So let's head into the marketplace right quick and we'll be selling absolutely everything. I wish there was a sell all button or a sell junk button or something along those lines. Oh, I think there actually is. Look at that. We can actually sell items automatically. So price limit for auto sell. Let's make that... 60 or something? I have no idea. Does that actually work? Wait a minute. No, the price limit. We need to make that zero, don't we? Or something along those lines? Oh, it's been a while since I've actually sold automatically. Yes. And the prices below will be sold. Da, da, da. Yes. So that should technically be selling it because they are below 59. But, ah, oh well, we'll just do it manually for now. Ooh, a book of healing. That actually improves our wound treatment. That's not too bad. So there we go. Now we can take a look at some of the armaments that you can actually gain here. We have some balanced Greek javelins, heavy mallets, Ithacan swords, and of course we have some war bows as well. Oh yes, the war bow actually looks very cool in my opinion. And we have a double-sided lance too. Okay, so yes, there's that. And then of course we do have, oh yes, some incredibly nice gear here as well as you see. Ooh, very nice. Wow. Okay, well, maybe we'll be able to get some of those a little bit later as well. Who knows? Now let's head into the tavern and see what we can do. Ooh, an Amazon swordswoman. Hello there. Wow. Okay, well, that's pretty impressive. So there's the servant of Apollo. Obviously, we are not going to be speaking to him just yet. Speaking to him just yet. We're going to be selling the prisoners for 96 dinars. Not bad. And now we will, of course, hunt for the bandits. I'm going to be taking these. Yeah, we're going to be taking those Amazon Swordswoman because why? Why not? Look at that. Yes, exactly. Well, whatever the case, let us now head upstairs and see if there are any companions that would like to be recruited by the likes of Boris the Throwing Master. No, it doesn't appear as though that is the case. So that's a little unfortunate, I've got to say. So otherwise, I think what we would want to do is head into not the Guild Master. Ah, that was a misclick, of course. Maybe it would be a good idea, but yes. I would like to borrow 5,000. Yes. 5,000 dinars, as we would probably like to buy something. Let's see. We have power throw, so I'm going to buy that. And I'm going to switch out the bow, because why, why do we have a bow? I have no idea why we have a bow, but we're going to be doing that. I'm actually not going to be taking both of these, because I feel like it's a little bit of a waste of money. Oh, yes, waste of money, and I'm buying something. Yeah, oh, yes, yeah, well, whatever the case, there we go. 2,500, not bad. Are we able to purchase more of those swordswomans? No, apparently not. So let's just see. There we are, very nice. So we have some pretty good units right now, and we'll be able to take these guys on without too many difficulties. Obviously, Boris the Throwing Master is ready to throw his javelins into nowhere because, well, he is just incredibly accurate, as we know. So... Let's, I, I'm actually going to see something real quick. I'm actually going to see whether I'm able to take out these guys by myself. We can change this so that it is a spear as well, by the way. So, yeah, maybe we'll be lucky enough, you know. Yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> that is utterly pitiful, isn't it? Oh, yes, fantastic. So let's see what we can do. I'm going to try and poke them in the face with my amazingly long javelin. Because Boris has an amazingly long javelin. Let's do this. 
maybe not. Maybe we'll need to get a little bit more space here. There we go. That's what we like to see. Ah, yes. We eliminated one of them and then got eliminated ourselves, but Boris doesn't mind. He likes a little bit of a rest on the floor there. And, of course, the rest of our units, especially our mercenary pikemen, are going to absolutely destroy these looters. And we are still alive. We're just in ghost form right now. So nothing to worry about there. Okay. So there we go. Not bad. And now we are, of course, going to be learning where the hostages are held and various other things like that. But I think we've actually had a pretty reasonable look at the early game in the Trojan War mod. And as we can see, this is actually the first time we're taking a look at the map as well. So you can take a look at the map here. As we see, we have completely historically accurate, as far as I'm aware anyway. We have a huge amount of different towns here. And the map is actually pretty large, as you see. And there's a lot of islands here as well that you're going to have to travel across. But we have leveled up. So I guess we'll get some more strength and some more iron flesh so we don't die in absolutely one hit. Probably a good idea. And otherwise, we're going to take a look at the upgrade trees. So, first off, we have here a couple of Athenians and various other units, as we see here. Clicking on one of them will give us an absolutely amazing overview of what they have. Their weapon proficiencies are absolutely insane right now. Obviously, they're probably not the best at archery, this particular faction, but they're, yes, as you can see, their swordsmen are absolutely fantastic. Their polearm skill is just through the roof, which is really quite impressive. We have Troy here. They do have some Trojan cavalry, some very nice polearm skill there too. And of course, they are using some Trojan horses as well. Oh, yes. And their archers, not bad. Their archers are actually pretty good too, as you can see. Very, very nice. And they have some very unique armor on as well. And yes, various other stats here too. And you can look through absolutely all of them. If you so desire, we could take a look at Sparta here. And wow, the one-handed weapon proficiency as well as the throwing weapons. Absolutely insane on these guys. And we have such a diversity of unit. As you see, they can become cavalry, axemen, marksmen, sergeants, and shieldsmen. So it's really quite impressive how there are such different categories here. And they go all from one peasant. So it's really very well done, in my opinion. Of course, we do have various other reports here that we can look at. We can take a look at character and companions. And, of course, there's a little bit of an error there. But as you see, look at that. It actually shows us what he is currently using. And if you want to try to, obviously, change a companion, you can also select a companion here, too. And it tells us our honor and our renown. Our renown is actually 16 right now. Not bad at all, if I do say so myself. We have no fiefs, of course. So, yeah, that's a little bit unfortunate. But, yeah, that's actually very cool, in my opinion. And, obviously, if you want to play this, then there's a download link in the description. And also, I'm probably not going to be showing any of the high-level gameplay right now because I think that that is reasonably similar to the custom battle that we had previously. And I can assume that the siege mechanics are going to be also relatively similar to that. And they do actually have unique siege layouts. So... I would say have a grand old fun time here because also the tournaments are relatively similar to Floris as well. So I thank you very much for watching this special feature for the Trojan War mod. And I will see you next time.